going to show you how we pack to go to the States with a baby. Now this video is several years old, but somebody did request it a long time ago. And I thought it was pretty interesting to show what we actually take to America. So I'm going to show you everything that we took and I'm actually going to give you some advice on things not to take and maybe some advice on what you should take extra of. So here's the video. And don't worry about the bad quality. We have a really good camera now, but back then we had a pretty bad camera. Um, my son at the time, I believe, was 18 months old, but now he is four years old. So that's how old the video is. So I hope you enjoy it. This is the where the baby sleeps, so we have to pack this. Yes. So we have to pack this. And at the moment I'm picking out clothes to take for the trip for the baby. Some neutral clothing. Some neutral clothing that matches with everything. Okay, here's what I'm packing for me. I'm packing for one week in case I can only wash clothes once a week. So I have seven shirts plus the one that I'm wearing on the plane. This is my outfit for the plane right now. So, seven shirts and one special shirt in case we go out to eat somewhere nice. Uh, one nightgown that's lightweight since it's Florida. The shirt's not mine. <laughs> uh, three pairs of yoga pants because that's what I like to wear. Two pairs of underwear uh, plus the one I'm wearing on the plane. I'm going to buy a package of underwear so I don't need that many. And two bras plus one that I'm wearing on the plane. Um, all of my pads because we're staying for one month. Um, a workout bra and two pairs of workout pants. And for everybody I packed swimwear. So this is my bathing suit, Hadar's, the babies, and we have some goggles. Okay, I have stuff here for the baby. A diaper bag, diapers, extra food. This is liquid. You can bring liquid food for a baby on a plane. It can be any size you want. Unless you fly El Al, which is the worst airline ever. And formula. But there's stuff that I take on a plane and stuff that I pack away that I don't use on the plane, so I don't need it. You know, got a big bunch of diapers. This is his uh, diaper bag kit to go to the bathroom with to change his diaper. So I'll show you what all is in this bag that I use on the plane. I have 10 diapers here. International flight, it's gonna be like 24 hours. So I have his lovey, this is what he likes to hug. This is one package of uh, it's pureed peaches, but it's one of the great big ones and it's got the spout on it so he can easily eat. I have just a little bit of formula in here. It's about half a can. And I'm bringing two bottles with me as well. They're in the wash right now. I have a bib. And this is going, this will go in the bag. The end of this is a nipple brush. They will not wash your bottle for you. So you need to bring stuff for you. That one's empty. Okay, and this is the kit just to take with me to the bathroom. This is a travel changer. And I have five diapers in here. And this is how I do, uh, we usually we do cloth diapers and not disposables. But this time we're not going to have a washer handy. So we have to do this. But I decided to use my cloth wash rags for baby wipes. So what I did was just, I wet these already. And I put a little dab of soap on each one. Uh, my own soap that I make and then I'll just put it in this Ziploc bag. And this goes in the kit with the diaper changer. So I can just grab this up and take him in this kit with me to the bathroom to change him. I also have a cloth laundry bag that I put a plastic bag into to put wet clothes in. So all the dirty clothes are gonna go in here for the baby. Hadar just went to the store and he got some non-toxic uh, baby wipes for the plane. So let me finish packing this. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it's all packed up. When you go to the TSA counter, they're going to want you to take out all of these liquids, so keep them, you know, handy. I have two bottles of liquids right here for his bottles. 
this is liquid, it's going to have to be in its own little tub. So I have that ready. And here I have a spoon and a fork for the baby. And here's his bib. So it's just all nicely tucked in there. Baby wipes, the laundry bag with the plastic bag, extra diapers, the quick kit for his uh, diaper changing on the plane. There's his formula down there, and on top I have rice cakes for him to snack on. Okay, and this is going to go for our flight back. We're going to use these. If these are in a diaper bag or you're carrying anything on the plane with you, they have to check this. So if it's not accessible, you will have to dig through all of your luggage to get it. So we're going to check this in our checked luggage. Also going to check the two big diapers and the can of extra formula. Okay, for Raphael, we're taking two pairs of shoes. He's going to wear one of them, probably that one today. This, I have his clothes ready right now for the plane, but this is what we're taking on the plane uh, for the entire month. Two pairs of shoes, three pairs of socks here, two t-shirts, one button-up. I think there's five Henleys here, three pairs of shorts. This is only one sleep shirt, but we're taking three all together, some on the plane, uh, three rompers, four pairs of long pants, and these are overalls. It says Daddy's Little Deer. Got a swim hat for the sun and the pool, and two more hats because we're going to be outside a lot. And I'm taking one cloth diaper because I'm going to use it in the pool as a swim diaper. So I have this bag packed already. This is going to be the checked luggage. I'm going to put the rest of the baby's clothes that we're actually not going to be using on the plane in here. This is his plane outfit, a uh, two-piece with socks and shoes. And on the plane, he'll have three sleepers. Okay, here's the checked luggage. I have my stuff here and the baby's stuff here. And Hadar's stuff is going to go on top. Hadar decided to put his stuff in a different bag, so we have like mine and the baby's, and then we have his. We have to take two suitcases with us. We only have one carry-on that's full, and the other one is going to be empty, so we'll put the carry-on in this one. When we come back, they'll all be full because we'll bring stuff back with us. So he's going to load his stuff up now. So here's the items that I'm bringing in the not the carry-on because these are too big. I got baby toothpaste, our toothpaste, some chafing cream for walking long distances, and some sun cream. I believe this is Aubrey's Organic. This one says natural. That's what I put on me and the baby. And I have my deodorant and I'm going to take this with me on the plane even though there's only a little bit left because it's less than uh, three ounces. Hadar's got his backpack packed. Or Hadar's got his suitcase packed. He put his carry-on inside his suitcase because we are not taking that much stuff with us. He's got his workout clothes, his shoes, vitamins, all of our... Uh, let's see, Filming got, equipment, yep. all of our supplements, all the computer stuff, extra baby things in case we need it. Always put your valuables on the plane with you. Yeah, don't ever trust anyone because yeah. people will say, well, us? What? Yeah. We didn't do anything, and you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, it's what stolen. You, want to do, <laughs> you do want to put everything valuable that you're not going to use in your carry-on, and everything valuable you are going to use in a backpack or a personal bag with you. Yeah. So you stuff your carry-on up top, and you have your backpack under your seat. Yeah. That's how you want to do And if they no, tell you... No, under the seat in front of you. Is under the does. seat. Yeah. Yeah. You always want to have something with you so you can get all your stuff quickly out of it. Yet... The important stuff has to be on a plane above you. All your fragiles too. And you yeah. have to pack everything, including all the liquids you're taking with you, in bags. Because they rip yeah, it. That's a soap. They rip it, they take it, they smash it. What they do, the luggage people, you won't see them. Uh, but I know exactly how it is. I've seen them as my friends. They take your stuff and they literally throw it this way. Yeah. On a tractor. A Clark tractor that has a hauler. Uh, what do you call it? A yeah, a trailer. trailer. An yeah. open side, open trailer. The stuff comes out of your plane, uh -huh. you know, going down, and then they just take it and throw it. Take it yep. and throw it, and there's someone who stacks all of them up. They do the same thing, taking it to the plane. They just throw it. <laughs> now, it sounds very uh, desensitized, like they're not humans, but that's their job. They do a lot of that every day, yeah. all day. 
So make sure to pack your bags so even if it takes a hit, it won't nothing will break. Yeah, always put the fragile stuff in the middle. See, we got gifts right there in the middle in yeah, that bag. Yeah, and you bag. can wrap it too and clothes and stuff. Yeah. Make sure to wrap your stuff up. Yeah, definitely. So this is what we're taking with us on the plane. This and the my, baby's bag and, and backpack. a backpack. Yeah. And that's it. Last time we took two backpacks, two carry-ons on a plane. So four. You, you, you can go here and see the little video. You can link your video right there. You can see me right there with like four backpacks, or two backpacks, her purse, two carry-ons, and luggage. Yep. I was packed. And you don't want to do that. Carry light stuff. Yeah. And this is the baby's tent right here. And it fits in Hadar's luggage. Okay, and this is basically all the makeup I'm taking with me. Mascara and, mascara and chapstick. And I have a little makeup in here. It's very small. I have a barrette holding all of my ponytail holders and one headband. Another chapstick. My face cream. My shell minerals. A little brush. A lipstick and that's it. So it's very tiny and it fits into my purse. And into my purse I have emergency inhaler, my camera bag, which also has my credit cards and stuff and my money in it, and a prescription medicine and that's it. I got my keys hanging off of the side. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our other videos and our other channels where we daily vlog every single day on Fully Living. Leave us a comment to let us know you are here. Have a great day.